Here I have my Oreos and my Hot Cheetos. While shopping at the dollar store guys, one of the weirdest supplies that I found there is actually not a school supply. This was in the home care section and it's just a storage compartment. Actually it has three of them. But it's meant to keep your food in there as you guys can see by the little picture. So you unscrew the top and you have one compartment there which looks like a jar. And then the middle piece, you remove that, set it aside, and this one contains two compartments. The same jar that I just showed you, and then a smaller compartment. This would actually be used for dip. For example, you could put your chips in this one, and this one would have your dip. Well, I'm not going to use it for that, but still, we're going to have some fun with this. So, what I see here is three different opportunities to sneak some snacks into class. So, for this first one, this one has the label on it. And on it, I'm gonna put some chips in there. And my choice of chips will be some Hot Cheetos. So I'll add some in there. But I'll leave a little gap because I gotta put the other compartment in there. That'll do, and that's plenty of chips. Now I'll put the other compartment in there. And inside, I will add two Oreos as an extra snack, obviously. You might not think so, but two little Oreos can keep you from being hungry in class. And I'll place the centerpiece on it so everything will stay in place. So now the bottom portion is complete. I got both my snacks in there, my Oreos and my Hot Cheetos. But since this is see-through, I gotta cover it. And to cover this, I'll just use some tape. So I had some leftover tape from my last video and I'm just gonna wrap this around it so you can't see the Hot Cheetos anymore. All right, we have officially covered our tracks as far as the Hot Cheetos and the Oreos. So now we'll put this aside. And as far as this container right here, again, it looks like a jar. I'm gonna fill it up with one of my favorite drinks, which is Kool-Aid. And no, I'm not gonna stick the whole pouch in there. I'm actually gonna cut a corner on the pouch and get the liquid out of there. So I'll just cut this part right here, corner. And now I have an opening which makes it easier for me to pour it in. See, and it's a blue color. Oh, nice. Look at that, guys. But this does not cut it for me. It's only halfway full. Fortunately, I had another one, and this one I will do the same thing. Cut the corner, and then fill it up. Wow, that is perfect. Now I can take the side that contains the other snacks and I'll screw it on. Well, I just had a little spill here, but that's fine. But here's what we're left with, guys. We got the drink and we got the chips and the Oreos in there. We're not done yet because this looks a little bit suspicious, right? So I'm gonna flip this upside down, like so. So the drink will be on top. But still, it doesn't look like a water bottle, which is what we're going for. Luckily, while I was at the dollar store, I also got an actual water bottle. And we don't really need the whole thing, we just need the cap. Because if we were to take this cap and stick it on top, like so, it'll look like an actual bottle. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna glue this on top of this bottle and it'll look like a regular water bottle. At this point, it's ready, guys. So if you're in class, and you have the bottle like this sitting on your desk, your teacher will not question why it's there. The water looks blue, but it could be the color of the bottle. So again, there's nothing to question here. But when you get hungry, this is how you guys can enjoy your snacks. First, you flip the bottle upside down like so. You unscrew the bottom that holds the drink. So if you're thirsty, you can get a drink from your Kool-Aid. But if you're not thirsty and you're actually hungry, twist it back on. Flip the bottle over once more, and then just untwist the bottom that holds your snacks. See? Here I have my Oreos and my Hot Cheetos, which I can enjoy at the same time. So once I need to put everything back, I'll stack up the small container inside the bigger one and screw on the other half, and we're done. 